Hey guys, welcome back to Easel Does It Studio. So today we're going to do two different projects, as you can see. And we're going to do a mixed mold. And I'm going to do these in white because I'm going to hand paint them after. And I believe these are going to be the giveaway. But I need to give a shout out because I received a couple videos back. I had got... A package from Interesin and it didn't have a note or anything and so I thought the company had sent it to me well they didn't it was Victoria who sent it to me and she has she reached out to let me know that it was her so the hippo and the uh, snowman jar and these with the stickers were all from Victoria so thank you thank you thank you so much Two of my favorite things, Christmas and into resin molds. So we are going to do this um, rose bouquet jar that we had just done a few videos back, but I did it in resin. So I want to try it with the mix to mold. So I'm going to do it in the blue. But then I, once it's all done and I seal it, then I'm going to paint the flowers and the leaves and the, the little flowers that are in on the sides. So I want the base of it to be a blue. So I have got my blue um, cement powder out and I think I remembered this taking eight ounces. So I have got just about eight ounces of my mixed mold in here. So I'm gonna fold this over so I don't get anything in it. And we're just gonna move this back out of the way so I can get this mixed for you. All right, so I'm gonna do the same process that I had done the last time because that worked really, really good is pre-mixing your powder. So if you do need to add more, it's already in there. And I am hoping and praying. In fact, I think I'm going to add a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Um, I would rather have a little too much than not enough. Oh, see why I, I folded that? So we're at about 11 ounces right now. So I'm going to mix my blue, but then I'm going to take some of the powder out. So if I do need to mix more, my blue is already pre-mixed. And then if I don't use it, I can just put it in like a separate container. And yeah. So that worked out really good. I still got the brown from the first house, which I think I'm going to do my bullfrog again with that brown because I also want to make a another house. But the one that I have, I have only got one mold. So I'm going to have to do it this way in order to get all my pieces together um, so that it, you know, it's going to be the same color because I'm going to have to pour the whole mold twice. So, and it's a smaller house than the first one. So I wanted the different um, layers, not layers, different sizes. My word. Can you tell it's almost 10 o'clock at night? My, well, my words never work anyways, so... <laughs> what's new, right? All right. And I believe, I think it's still white on the bottom. So I am, oops, as I cover myself. All right, so 
I'm going to do the same thing as last time. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of water and a little bit of this powder to see what kind of blue that we get. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll be, I think that'll be good. Hmm. Wonder if, because I haven't used this red, I'm wondering if we could make a purple. a purple a purple base and then I can do like either paint it in pink or yellow flowers all right so I'm just gonna grab another cup because I'm gonna add some red to this and So this is the bright red. This was the red that I haven't used yet. So let's, uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably definitely need more than that. I just don't wanna overdo it, but I know All right, let's, so we'll stir that in and then I'll mix it with some water so that we can kind of get a gist of what color we're going to get. Because I'm thinking I'm going to have to definitely add more red. All right, so I'm going to, this time I'll put a little bit of powder and I'm going to just see... Let me just use this spoon because it might be a little bit safer to no we definitely need more red okay All right, we'll start with that. Because <coughs> I've only got the five, five colors of this powder stuff, so I'm gonna have to get more. Three, four, no, three, four. I have six colors. I have blue, green, black, brown, and two of the reds. All right, let me just get. Just to kind of wipe some of it out. So. Wipe the spoon. And I guess I'm just going to take a different spoon because, you know. getting close. I think we're going to need a little bit more red. All 
No, it's kind of like a purpley. All right, I guess we're gonna go with that. No, oh, I'm gonna add more red. <laughs> All right, and then we'll call it. Whatever it is, it is. them upside down okay because this stuff is messy 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 I tell ya um I'm gonna take a couple of ounces of that out and then we'll pour let's see where we end up All right, so that's like nine ounces. So we'll start with that. Um, do I, let me get my, I'm gonna get my little spatula. <coughs> All right. this I think will mix it better oh look at that purple color oh that is gorgeous I just got to make sure that I get those colors really mixed in, any clumps. This is gorgeous. I'm so, I wasn't even going to pull all the colors. I was just going to pull the two bags of what I was going to use. And then like all of a sudden my little pea brain was like, make a different color, mix your colors. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes you you have that and you listen and then other times you don't and you wished you had. So that is kind of like where I'm at. So let me move these over and I'm gonna put those there. Well, Michelle, you gotta touch everything with your grubby hands, right? All right. So, um, this is my bigger one. I just want to make sure that I've thoroughly mixed everything. See, there's still some red in there. That's the only thing with something, doing a big amount. And my brown is still in my other bowl, so I haven't, I put the cover on it in the, one of the buckets that were empty, but I haven't like separated it yet. All right, so and I wanna make sure that I pour it from a spot that has no red on it. All right. I think we are good. That is a good consistency. <coughs> All right. So let's, and I'm only going to pour a little bit there. 
so that I can really tap it down. Because <coughs> I don't want new bubbles. I, no, 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 no bubbles. I mean, the bubbles usually pop, but I just soon be on the safe side. So what I'll probably do, since I figured out how to do time lapse, when I start painting it, or the, all the pieces, I will, I'll start with, you know, me on video, and then I will time lapse it through so that it doesn't take so long. I know some of you don't mind, but oh. all right, so that's nice and full. So let's get some around the sides. I don't want no bubbles. I don't, I don't. Hitting me right now. I need a smidge for over there, like a smidge. Um, I'm just gonna use a paper cup because <coughs> I don't need much at all. I mean, like, that's probably gonna be too much. <laughs> pulled out a piece of unmixed powder and well that will just give us a nice swirly look to the bottom all right so there's my oh wrong one too much water. So we're definitely going to have some extra on this because that's the hardest part with this is when you only need a little bit, it's just so hard to get it to mix. Probably 
too much. All right, so. Yes, we're going to leave that and hope and pray that it's fine. All right, I'm going to set this aside because I can bring this up and wash it. And let me no, that's not enough. What do I have in here? Let me pull up my little flower. I don't think I have any purple flowers yet. And look at that. Just enough. that one done. So those are going to be easy because those are just going to be white because I don't know what they look like right as of yet. So I'm just going to go with a basic white. <coughs> and I better not use that because my hands are cruddy. So I'm just going to take another cup. I'm thinking they're going to be, I'm thinking three ounces each is what I'm thinking for my little, they call them a dwarf, but I think they're a gnome. So I think they're going to take like two and a half to three ounces is kind of my guess. So I'm just trying to get some of that color off so I don't contaminate my my white powder <clears throat> so I do have like three a good three ounces left but the house that I'm going to do I want to I wanted to do in a blue but I might something in there get it out it must have been a clump up Red powder. <laughs> All right, it's starting to thicken up. All right, we're just going to leave it. So, I am going to. I will mix three ounces. Might as well mix up four because I am doing both pieces. So, all right, we'll start with four and we'll see <coughs> where we get with that. And I'm going to take a clean stick. So, and because it is almost 10.30 at night, I will just let these sit overnight 
and I will demold them in the morning. And that way I can seal them. I just won't seal the bottoms right yet. And um, then I can start painting them in the morning. So All right. <clears throat> I didn't want to put it on my dirty map, but All right. So, I guess they take 4 ounces each. So, <clears throat> I am going to try these little angels again. There's two of them that I have a really hard time with. This one and the other one. I always break something on it. Just set my stick down. <coughs> So I think the reason that I have a hard time with this is I believe it is my mold. So I really just jam that in there, trying to get that. So I'm like, Maybe if I leave these like overnight so they'll be a lot harder, maybe I will have a little bit better luck. I mean, they come out great. Don't get me wrong. It's just I end up breaking little pieces off. So these two I'm, just, I'm pouring now. These two are my favorites. So we might have enough to do all of these. You know, with Christmas coming, you can't have too many angels. All right. Just... I want to make sure that their wings and their little feet and that hand. Oh, yeah, I better move that in this hand. this back here and let me move this back here okay so we will get four ounces mixed up again and I am just going to scrape this little bit Hmm, I don't even, in case we have extras after, I'll just pour a skull. Yeah, I guess, um, you know, last time I guessed pretty accurate, so I was thinking, oh, I could do that again today, but no. <laughs> All right, so let me just get 
four more ounces of powder in here. And three and a half. All right, and we'll start with this. What do I have on here? And that one was just a little bit thicker than what I've got in this. Yeah, that's better. And that's only three ounces. <laughs> I don't want to have to mix up. a little smidge because we saw what happened with the purple, right? Yeah. All right. Let's just Four ounces. Oh, so three would have been right. up Mr. Skull here. <clears throat> so <clears throat> Let me know, guys, how many of you are watching um, Hallmark Christmas? I have been, I have been watching it. Yes, I have. Everybody in my house thinks I'm crazy. That's yeah, okay. All right, so I guess these skull molds are going to get put away here pretty soon. So I have got just a smidgen left. What do I have? <clears throat> All right, let's do... Let's do a bird, I guess. I had my little bear in there, too, and I didn't even think of my little bear. Maybe I'll just mix up a little bit more and we'll do Mr. Bear. Yeah, why don't we? I don't think we're gonna need, I think he's only like two ounces. Don't we? C 
see if we can change the color of the, the purple to a lighter purple. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. All right. So that way we will have a little variation. Look at that. Perfect, perfect. I mean, you could use a smidge more, but I'm not going to worry about a smidge more. Alrighty, guys. So that does it for this part. I will be back when these are ready to demold, and we will start painting them up and seeing what we can come up with. Alrighty, guys, I will see you on the flip side. Okay, guys, so let's get these demolded. All right, so let's start with our little flower. Oh, that came out so pretty. So, so pretty. All right, so let's do a little Mr. Bear. And these should be nice and hard because they sat overnight. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, he's speckled. He is so cute. All right, I guess we'll do the skull. Oh, he came out really good. Oh, I'll have to paint him up cool for my grandson. Well, I try to make it fair for both my grandsons, but my oldest grandson keeps taking all the skulls. <laughs> all right, let me see. I always end up breaking that hand thing off right there. These are so stinking cute. All right, let me just get them out and then I'll hold them all up for you guys. middle one out. Oh, I think I just broke something on him. Nope. All right. Yay! He has hands! Oh, that one broke. Crap. But he's got one hand, and he's got some toes. So, yeah, it's just that. It's just that one little spot, so I'm getting better. All right, so let me just, I'll zoom in so that way when I put them up, you'll get a better, a clearer look. So those are those two. And let's put them up here. And then these are the other two that kind of go together. This one's got a little bit of blue on her knee. 
or on her, her dress thing, but these are just so stinking cute. I'd like to find some that are a little bit bigger than that. Um, and then these two have no, no little feet, but they're really cute. Oh, and that one don't have a hand. I think it's the mold. I really do on that one. Okay, so zoom you back down so you can. <coughs> All right, so let's just move our finished pieces back here for now. So let's get this out and hope and pray there are no bubbles oh it's pretty look at that so I've got a little trimming around the edge but that's that's an easy. Basically, it just. So I'll sand that down a little bit. Oh, once I get this all painted, it's going to be beautiful, guys. It looks like a material in person. It's really, really cool. And we got no bubbles. Yay. All right. This is the this is the one that I'm worried about. Oh, there's a few little micro bubbles. And a couple little bubbles, but they're not, I mean, you don't even really feel them. That is gorgeous. It looks like velvet, guys. That's what it looks like to me when I'm looking at it. It looks like a piece of like crushed velvet. This one's going to be really fun to paint. And it fits perfectly together. So I could have went a little lighter, but it's... It's almost like a deep plum color. Okay. So. And I do have a 20% off coupon code in the description for any of these molds. <coughs> these two were gifted to me from Victoria. This one I bought. This one is not as expensive as some of the other ones. Um, I think it's in the $40, $50 range. So, all right. So, let's, and this mold is really nice and squishy. Oh, look it. He is precious. Oh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coat of sealant on all of these pieces, let it dry, and then I'm going to paint it. The reason that I'm going to do it that way is when I had tried painting it before I sealed it, if I just touched it, oh, we got one little bubble under his hat, crap, um, before... I sealed it, the paint stuck and it just, it didn't come off. So that is why I'm going to seal it. So if I do make an oops, it will come off. Oh, so we got a couple little bubbles in the trim of his hat, but 
he's perfect on the front. This gorgeous little gnome. So there's a few little bubbles underneath. One there. So, I mean, it's not bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these up as a set. And this is going to be the giveaway. These two. So, let's get the mold out of the way here. So I will take some tape and clean this out later. I'll clean it out really good with some tape. That'll probably take me a good hour. All right, so I'm contemplating. All right, so we're gonna use so this is the sealer that I use. It's the J-Diction Gloss Sealer. And then I also have the Mix to Mold um, Gloss Sealer. All right, I'm going three coats. That was two hour. And So I'll probably use this one because I can, it only takes um, two hours in between coats. And I am going to put my some gloves on to seal this just because I find that I get it all over me and then I have sticky fingers for the rest of the day. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's just not, it's just not so fun that way. Um, I'm just looking for, um, I think I will use this, um, I'm gonna use this to get into all the fine little nooks and crannies. The same thing with that. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm trying to figure out which colors I want to use. I know that we're going to have the green stems on the roses and the green and the, but I want a color that's going to go with purple. So I might do the roses in a yellow, but more of a muted yellow and maybe a pink ribbon or Pink, why don't we, uh, we'll probably do pink roses with a yellow ribbon. Yeah, I think that'll. So I'm just going to pour some in here. And that way, because I'm going to try to use my finger to smooth on the, the, um, on the pieces. I'll like put it on, but then kind of use my finger to smooth it so we don't get any lines. And why do I have, hang on, I gotta wash my glove. Let me get my soapy water bottle because some of that powder got on my glove and I don't I do not want any of that on my pieces. Okay. <coughs> I washed this off before I started, but 
Okay. So I'm going to start with the, the gnomes just to make sure that if there's anything in my brush when I do that, that it doesn't transfer onto our little gnome pieces here. So that way there, I can really get that into those little crevices. And then I will put another coat once all the paint is dry. So I usually like do this off camera, but I figured I would do it on camera so that any of you that are new to this and you didn't know how to. Now the mix to mold, this has been overnight, so it's, it's dry enough to seal. I'm just not gonna seal the bottom so that if there is any moisture in there, it has a way of coming out through the bottom. Whereas some of these ceramic um, mixes, you have to wait a good day. I've even found like two days before you can seal them because they, um, like if you set them on the table, they will sweat and you'll see the moisture underneath it. <clears throat> All right, so let me try to just scoot this out of the way so we can let him seal. And we're just gonna get this little bugger So you will probably be seeing a lot of these being made because A, I love Christmas. B, I love the mix to mold. And C, I love these molds. <laughs> they are so, so cute. So and if you just go in one direction with your brush, you get less brush marks. And I find that this, the, the mix to mold sealer gives me less brush marks than the other one. giving it a good liberal coating. See, there was a little bit of the red that somehow transferred into the, into that mold. Somehow, a little piece of powder or something got in there, but we're gonna be painting him, so it does not matter. All right, so now let me get the top of his hat again. Okay, so I'll do the, the box on camera and then I'll do the other ones after because these are the ones that I want to get painted. So I'm just going to really get that sealer down in to the little rose-like petals. So that's why I picked this brush because it's got those long bristles and this should dry clear so anywhere that it's kind of goopy just go back with your brush and you know try to scoop it out 
but you want to make sure that, you know, you're getting all the edges and everything that you possibly can. So then I'm just kind of like poking into the, like the little flowers. So I'm just gonna get all the flowers done. And then I'll kind of go back through and scoop it out. This is basically like the hottest part is, you know, getting the seal and this will take a little bit painting. Um, so I'll probably I'll probably, I don't know, paint this one off the video. I'll paint those on. I'll do a time lapse of the the little gnome guys and I don't know we'll see we might we might just do some on because I know a lot of you um, would like to see you know the process of this coming together so all right so I just and now I'm just gonna go through with my brush and any like big white clumpy areas. I'm just gonna tap to get that extra um, sealing off. So we still have the detail in our rows because if you fill it in too much, then you won't get that depth. All right, so that is all nice and sealed. And I didn't do the underneath yet. I will do that. Um, after everything is done, and I'll probably seal that tomorrow, the bottom. And because this has like ribs going this way, I'm making sure that when I'm painting it on, I'm going in the direction of the grain, so to speak. I know it's not grain, but you're going in that direction of, you know, the piece that you're doing. <clears throat> if it was going the other way, I would be going the other way, but I mean, you can, you can go both ways, but then smooth it out going in the right direction. So it's kind of like, you know, painting. You want it to kind of go in the direction of whatever you're, <clears throat> you're painting. All right, so let's get the excess off these flowers and I'm just gonna brush this Get that extra. So I found with this, when I first started, I was trying to go with a really like thin, thin coat. 
and I ended up having more brush marks than if I put a good amount of on you know on my brush so on at least on this mixed mold one I find that if you give it a nice hefty coat you get less brush marks all right so we're almost done with this one and then I will let them sit for a couple of hours and then I'll be back and we will get these painted so for the giveaway comment um let's see what should we I guess just comment giveaway and what I will do is assign a number so every time somebody comments giveaway like the first person will be number one and so on so um, then what I'll do is I will um, what's today today is Sunday while I'm painting this so it's gonna come out probably Monday so I will run this until next Saturday so you have from now until um, we'll close it on Friday at midnight and I'll draw it on Saturday. So, and I will put um, how to do it in the description box. So, because last time people commented and they didn't understand why I gave them a number. And that tells me they just skipped through my video. So, I will try and put it in the um, the description box for you guys. <clears throat> so, and I guess what we could do is, you know, I guess you could pick which one you want. If you want the set of gnomes or if you wanted the, the trinket dish. It doesn't matter to me. <clears throat> I just figured this would be a better giveaway than the other thing that we did on the other video. So, all right. So we're gonna let these guys, and they're already pretty dry, but I'm just gonna let them dry for the two hours, like it says, and then I'll come back and we'll paint them. So I will see you when it is time for the next, the next step. Alrighty guys. If I can find my button. Okay guys, so. I got most of them painted. I'm going to jump on, so I'm going to finish this one. They definitely were taking way longer than what I thought I would be able to paint them in. So for the sake of trying to keep the video down to a minimum, I got most of them done off camera because... Yeah, we'd have been here for quite some time. So. <coughs> I am going to. We're going to paint the. I'm going to paint the tree next. So I'm going to use. This dark green. And I'm just. I'm going to paint over. Um. The little lines in there because I will we're gonna paint over that in a little bit all right so yeah and I don't have the best 
of brushes. Um, I definitely need to invest in some better detail brushes. So, all right, and then I'm gonna, um, we're gonna kind of decorate that here in a bit. We'll let it dry. I'm gonna go on to the hat. And I'm going to go in with the dark red first and trying to keep it off the beard, especially the one with the snowflake. I That one there is, yeah, that was really hard to do. So I'm not going to try to get as close because... Um, yeah, I just mess it up. I just mess it up. Take a Q-tip here and a little bit of water. And... Plus, trying to keep it in frame is difficult because I, when I'm painting little like this, I like to hold it close to my body. So I'm just going to go and we're going to just paint the whole hat except for the pom-pom. And then we will add the details into the hat after. So, because I had told you I would paint some on camera, I figured I'd jump on and try to get him finished up. And then I will show you all the pieces. So I'm going to try to get around the pom-pom. I love painting these, but I, I just, I go so slow when I'm like not doing it for a camera, for the video. So because a lot of times I'll buy those, um, ceramic pieces like at Michael's and just paint them and then add them to my Christmas decorations. All right, so let me get this top without my head in it. Oh. 
and because it's white, it pretty much needs two coats. All right, so I am, let's see, <coughs> do I have a smaller line of brush? It's not. All right, so I'm just gonna take some black and we're gonna paint the little thing around his hat, the belt. It's the underneath parts that are the hottest when you're doing these type of things. If you're not leaving the white, it's not as bad. But when you want to keep that nice, crisp white, you know, in the on the piece, then it's it's definitely hotter than if it weren't. All right. leave that to dry and let's get um do I want do I all right I'm gonna take my fine tip silver marker and I am We're just going to fill in these little tiny lines so it would be like tinsel is kind of what I'm I know it's garland but I just figured this would look better. And that's just in my opinion. Um, all right, so let me get this angled one so we can do his star. See how pretty that is. And so now let's get there's what one, two, three, four balls. So we will we'll put one purple. And one a light red. You can tell the paints that I started with because they're starting to get gloopy. And let's see, we'll put a yellow ball. Yellow 
yellow. Oh, we got two more. All right, so let's make a light blue. And Okay, so I'm going to switch brushes. We are going to get his shoes painted in. color that I don't have out is the the brown for the tree trunk but I'll finish that now it'll be in the final pictures and let's see let's give him some red mittens Fine tip marker. These markers work phenomenal on this stuff. And there we go. 
got our little gnome all done. I could have colored his nose a, like a skin color, but I suck at skin color, so I'm just going to kind of leave it plain. So, this is our little gnome set. So they're all painted. I will seal the paint in. So, I have painted that. So let me move this. And this is the box. This took me a long time. All right, let me just zoom in, put my ring light on here. So now I just have to seal all the paint in. But I did all the little flowers all the way around. There is like little yellow dots in the center. So, hey. That little bug that was flying, I had him in there. I should have left him in there. Now I let him out. Crap. So, yeah. So, I will seal this completely in again. So, yeah. You have a choice. You can pick from this and or this. And these will be all sealed. But see how... So, I'm going to go over the white again with um some white just to I just wanted to let everything dry really good before I did that and yeah so these are and they're hand painted so they're not a hundred percent perfect but they were done with love so I guess that's what's important right so I will touch up this little bit of white and at least lighten it, you know, so we don't see it. But yeah, so let me know in the comment. The only other thing I didn't know is if I should do this in the silver where it is so dark to break it up. I am so tempted, but I don't know. So I guess if somebody pick, chooses this, I will let them decide if they want it outlined in the silver, I will do that. Or even in gold, I guess. It doesn't matter to me, but yeah. Alrighty, guys. That's this video for today. Thank you so much, you guys, for helping me get to 2,000 subscribers. And don't forget, there. Um, I have my link for the Interesin Molds is in the description below. And the coupon code, if you wanted to get... You know, either these or the hippo or the snowman jar. That was on one of my previous videos. Those are all, you can find those on the Interesin website. So have a great day and I will see you on the next video, guys. Bye.